Hey guys, welcome to the feast. You're all invited. King's feast, that is, the Burger King. Today, on Brave Belly, we're gonna explore the menu. Some things on the menu. I have a Whopper, I have an Impossible Whopper, I have the Big Fish, I have the new Spicy Melt. It looks really awesome. I have these. Everybody's raving about these, the spicy chicken fries which are these bad boys right here. Mm, I have onion rings, I have mozzarella sticks, I have french fries, and of course, I had to go big and get myself an Oreo shake. Oh, that's rich. And I have all their spices. So join me guys, hope you brought your appetites. Let's get right into it. Let's start off with these. Mm, spicy chicken fries. Very good. I love how they're all perfect. They cut them perfect to, to look like fries. Perfect shape. Chicken that's breaded. Very spicy, by the way. I would say it's slightly above mild. Mm, good stuff. Now I'm gonna have some together with the fry. Bet that goes really well. Mm. Oh yeah, that's definitely good. Mmm. Barbecue sauce. Mmm. A little bit of zest sauce for you zesty folks out there. Now I'm not zesty, but I don't discriminate. Oh yeah, that's zesty. <clears throat> wow, that's really good. It has horseradish in there. Mmm. Never tried that, but very good. Mmm. Goes well with the onions. Or the horseradish would probably go good with the big fish. But first, we're gonna try it with the Whopper, okay? Mmm. Mmm. Wow. The Whopper, very decadent because it has so many things in it. We have tomato, we have pickle, we have onion, we have lettuce, and you taste all those flavors. Of course, with that smoky flavor, the flame broiled, the famous flame broiled Whopper, you know? This, however, might be the impossible and tastes delicious. Mm. Let me compare it to the classic. You see those onions? I love onions. I don't know how people don't do onions or they don't do pickles. I love all those contrasts. I think they add to the burger. Mm. Wow. This is the original OG Whopper. So good. That smoky flavor is much stronger than the Impossible Whopper. But the Impossible Whopper is delicious. Now, the, the, the thing is, the Impossible doesn't taste like it's any healthier it's just meatless that's the only difference so if you're uh, you know opposed to eating animals tasty animals this is the way to go the impossible burger is definitely a move I like it but the OG is the OG for a reason mmm so good Mmm, I love it. It doesn't need absolutely anything. I wouldn't put any sauce on it because it's already... Mmm, look at that. It has everything in there. Mmm, lots of rich different flavors in there. All right, mozzarella stick. Mmm, good stuff. Mmm, that's what the barbecue says. Some Diet Coke since I'm on a diet. I just feel like diet is less overwhelming, less syrupy. That's why it's good to wash food down, in my opinion. Mmm. Oh yeah, that sweet and sour is delicious. Very rich. 
All right. Moving on to the next one. Let me try the big fish. All right. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The big fish. Very fishy. I wonder what they use. I bet, bet it's a mix. It tastes like cod or something like that. Strong, fishy smell. So it doesn't taste like a mystery. You know right away you're eating fish. Mm. And that pickle in there helps it a lot. Gives it more contrast. Now I'm going to try with some of this zesty sauce. Only because it has... Horseradish, I think horseradish would go well with the big fish. Mm. Oh yeah. Good stuff. Hold on till I'm done with everything and I'll give you guys a rating. Mm. These are definitely very good. I can see why people like them. It's no frills. If I ordered these, I definitely would order them alongside fries so I could eat them like that. So you have all the contrast. And being that they're spicy, it's a, it's a good little, has a, some good heat, but the honey mustard, ooh, cools that down a little bit. Mmm, all right. Check this out. This is a really pretty burger. This is their patty melts. Mmm. I'm looking forward to it. Look how nice it looks with the onions. And it has the jalapenos. So this is their spicy patty melt. I think this is the prettiest of the burgers that I got today. So I'm gonna look at that nice bite that's coming up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, mm. that's really, really good. Mm. It's really rich. Oh, mm. and the jalapeno spiciness is just right. You got all that cheese, that gooey cheese, to cool it off. Wow. Let's do some of this Oreo. Good old Oreo. I love it. And the milk in it, the dairy, cools off the spice. So it goes so well. Mm. Mm. Look at that bite coming up. Wow. That's good. But it is spicy. Not gonna lie. Like jalapeno is, of course. Mmm. What a bomb shake. This is their classic OG classic Oreo shake. Mm. And I like when it starts to melt a little bit so you could get good hits mm. when you pull on that straw. Complete cooling effect. Cools down that um, that jalapeno so well all right so we're gonna jump back to the impossible burger really rich out of all the burgers that I've had that are meatless I think the impossible is my favorite now is it as good as a Whopper well, let's see. Mm. I'll be willing to go against a lot of people. Now, you guys know I'm a huge meat eater. I eat a lot of meat. In my opinion, these are absolutely tied Reason being, they're both absolutely delicious, 
yet they're so different. So there are times where you could just be like, you know what? I just want an impossible burger. Even if you do eat meat, it's just a little slightly different. It does taste good. And this classic mm, could never go wrong. If somebody just wants a burger, the Whopper is a go-to, especially since it already comes, you know, with the lettuce, tomato, onion. Mm, good stuff. From a one to a 10, the Whopper for me, it's a 10. It's a great burger, I love it. That's why it's been around for so long and so famous. Same thing, Impossible Whopper, especially for a meat list from a one to a 10, also a 10. I love it. Big Fish. Big Fish, really fishy, and I do like fish and fish sandwiches. Not crazy about this one, not gonna lie. Nothing special about it, you know? It just tastes like a, it was a frozen piece of mixed fish. It was fried and thrown in between two buns. I feel like they could do more with it by adding more stuff to it. One little measly pickle and some lettuce, but perhaps some onions would help. I don't know what else, but from a one to a 10, I give this a one. I would never be ordering this again. The big fish to me is a thumb down. Now, the patty melt, the spicy patty melt to be precise. Absolutely delicious. Mm. You get a strong um, taste of good old beef and melting cheese, almost like, yeah, just like a cheeseburger, you know? But it's, since the buns are slightly slimmer, you get that, um, that cheese and beef like first, and then you start getting that jalapeno in the back. Mmm, so good. One to a ten. I give this a nine. Mmm, good stuff. One bite left. I'm gonna do it. Oreo shake, absolutely phenomenal. Mmm. Mmm. Super thick. All the Oreos are on the bottom. Well, not all, but a lot. Mm. So rich. Cools off those jalapenos. Amazing. Okay. The spicy chicken fries. What do I think about them? They're absolutely good. From a 1 to a 10, I'll give them a 5. Reason being, it's it's like nuggets very simple there's no complexity to it yeah there's heat to it because they're spicy but what you see is what you get there's no richness to it and would i be buying these again probably not i'll stick to a burger and fries if i'm going for fast food just my cup of tea onion rings i'm not a huge fan of onion rings but these i like I like the fact that you bite into them and you're not pulling long pieces of onion that slap your face. Real easy to eat. Strong onion aroma. Almost like Funyuns, like a bag of chips. Really good. Mm. I'm so glad I got this shake. Mm. Mozzarella sticks. Simple, easy, clean. You know, you bite into it, you're not making cheese. And I think that's a good thing. However, they're just mozzarella sticks. Nothing to brag about. One to a ten. I give them a five also. And finally, Burger King fries. Burger King fries have never been the best fries, but they're actually not bad. 
I don't have any complaints about their fries. I've had worse. You know, like those thick crinkles. I don't like the crinkle thick ones. They remind me of fries that you like buy a frozen bag and might make at home. These are good fast food fries. I love it. Guys, thank you for hanging around and watch me rate and taste all this Burger King food. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.